Hi everyone, just making a short video on long division. Long division is particularly useful for large numbers, particularly for dividing by a two digit number. It also breaks down each stage into an easily manageable step by step process. In the first example, we're going to use a single digit number just to show out how it works and how to lay it out. So we're doing 171 divided by 3. So I'm going to lay this out in our division method. So we've got 3 uh, on the outside and we've got 171 on the inside. First job, how many 3's go into 1? 0. We now go on to how many 3's go into 17? Now my 3 times table, 3 times 5 equals 15. And we're going to put 15 underneath and take it away from the 17. And that will give us our remainder, uh, in this case, 2. Next step is we've got to bring down the next number, so we've now got 21. We now need to go how many 3's go into 21? I know it's 7, because 3 times 7 is 21. We need to take away that 21, uh, and it will leave us with no remainder. So the answer for this one is 57. In the next example, we're going to still divide by a single digit, but this time have a remainder. So we're going to do 232 divided by 5. Now, Automatically we know there's going to be a remainder because we know 5 will not go into a number that ends in 2, at least not completely. So I'm going to lay it out the same as the other question, 5 on the outside, 232 on the inside. How many 5s go into 2? We can't fit any in so we have 0. Now it's how many 5s go into 23. I know that 4 times 5 is 20, so I know we can fit 4 in and we need to take away the 20 from the 23 which gives us a remainder of 3 at the moment. We then need to bring down the last number to make 32. How many 5s go into 32? I know 6 5s make 30, so I need to take away the 30 from there and that will leave us with our remainder as the 5 cannot go into the 2. And we need to remember to put the R in the 2 up there and then put it up on our answer. For the next example, we're going to divide by a two digit number. In this case, we're going to divide by 12, as lots of children are familiar with their 12 times table. So our question is going to be 341 divided by 12. Set it out exactly the same way, 12 on the outside, 341 on the inside. Now, we need to be careful, because now we're seeing how many 12s go into those numbers. 12s into 3 doesn't go, so 0. It's now 12s into 34. Know my 12 times table, I know that I can fit in 2 because that will give me 24, uh, and so I'm going to take away 24 from the 34, and that leaves us with 10. Next step, same as before, bringing down the next number, we now have 101. Again, using my 12 times table knowledge, I'm going to go, I can fit in 8 12s because 8 12s would give me 96, uh, and then again, all I need to do is 101 take away 96 will give me the remainder of 5 this time. Remember to put it up at the top, so the answer of 341 divided by 12 is 28 remainder 5. For the last example, uh, we're going to do a two digit number, and this is a kind of question that might appear in year 5 or year 6 maths tests, particularly for long division. So we're going to do 231 divided by 14. Set it out exactly the same way, 14 on the outside, 231 on the inside. The main difference this time is we're going to very quickly write out our 14 times table on the side of our board. Year 6 has suggested to do this for their SATs because uh, it speeds up their long division calculations, particularly when you have trickier numbers. Uh, so we're just going to go down this far, so we're going to go down to 7 lots. We might need more, we might not, we'll see as we go along. I'm numbering them just to make it really easy so I can see how many 14s there are there. Back to the sum, how many 14s go into 2? 0. How many 14s go into 23? I know there's going to be 1, so we need to take away 14. I'm also going to use column subtraction here, just so I don't make any mistakes. So I'm just going to go through and very quickly sort that out, uh, and it leaves me with the answer of 9. Now, same as the other questions and answers, we bring the next number down, so we've got 91. Now, this is where the 14 times table on the side is quite handy, because we can quickly look down and we can go, particularly if they're numbered, we can go six lots, 
84, done. So we know that 84 is going to go down here, and we know that 6 goes up there. We now need to do 91 take away 84, and again I'll do just a little bit of column subtraction, and it gives us the answer of 7, and that's going to be our remainder. So remember to put the remainder up on the top, so you've got 16 remainder 7, so the answer to 231 divided by 14 is 16 remainder 7. Thank you very much for watching, uh, you can try your own at home, you can make your own numbers up, uh, see if you can find one that is particularly difficult or challenging.